Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial of Get to Plugins. Today I'm going to show you how to convert variation select drop down into color, image, and button swatches. To convert variations into swatches, first you need to create product attribute and its variations globally. From the left sidebar, navigate to attributes from products. So you are on the global attribute page. From here, you can create any number of attributes you want. I'll create a total of four attributes. To create your desired product attribute, give your desired name here. For demonstration, purposes I have given the attribute name as color after specifying your desired attribute name you can leave slug enable archives and default sort order as it is because all these are optional save it by clicking on add attribute button you'll notice a new color attribute is already created now I'm going to add three more attributes I have given the second attribute name as pattern and click on add attribute button I have given the third attribute name as size and again click on add attribute button I have given the last attribute name as made in and again click on add attribute button so you can notice all of my attributes are created so it's time to create the variations for all the attributes first i will create variations for color attribute from color attribute click on configure terms to navigate the variation list page in this page you can add as many numbers of variations as you want i will add red and blue variations for my color attribute first i will fill the name field as red and click on add new color button now i will fill the name field as blue and again click on add new color button so now color attributes variations are created again navigate to attributes from made in click on configure terms i will create usa and uk variations for the made in attribute first i will fill the name field as usa and click on add new made in button now i will fill the name field as uk and again click on add new made in button you can notice made in attributes variations are already created again navigate to attributes from pattern attribute click on configure terms now i will create pant and shirt variations for pattern attribute first i will fill the name field as pant and click on add new pattern button now i will fill the name field as shirt and again click on add new pattern button so pattern attributes variations are also created again navigate to attributes now i will create large and medium variations for the size attribute first i will fill the name field as large and click on add new size button and finally i will fill the name field as medium and again click on add new size button you can notice size attributes variations are already created now it's time to link the newly created attribute with the product to create a variable product navigate to add new from products fill the product name field with your desired title and add some description as well select variable product from product data drop down from attributes select newly created attributes from custom product attribute drop down and add them one by one now i'm going to choose select all and give a check mark on used for variations for all the attributes and click on save attributes button now navigate to variations you'll notice two options are available here add variation will add each variation one by one but create variations from all attributes will add the variations by making a combination of all available attributes for now i will go for add variation and add some variations according to my desire i have created total three variations my first variation is blue uk pant large second one is red usa shirt medium and third one is blue uk shirt medium now click on expand to show the settings of all the variations price is the mandatory field for each variation but others are optional so make sure price is set in all the variations otherwise variation will not show up in the product front end now add featured images by pressing on the image icon for each variation one by one it will appear after the selection of corresponding variations in the product front end to save the settings click on save changes now you need to set a product image clicking on here this image will appear when no variation is selected once you finish doing all these things click on the publish button click on this link to go to the product front end so our variable product has successfully been published try to select a variation of a product and change the variation to see one of the products i am choosing the first variation that i created previously so the first variation was blue uk pant large next i am choosing red usa shirt medium you'll notice each time variation price and image are also changing with it variation selection drop down requires some extra click for the visitor to check the available variation of a product to solve this hassle you can turn the variation selection drop down into buttons to do so navigate to add new from plugins search for variation swatches for woocommerce plugin and install it at the time of my recording it had more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of five stars rating the plugin converts woocommerce variation select drop down into color image
switch button and radio swatches after completing the installation activate it by clicking on the activate button now you can notice variation selection drop down is converted into buttons but you can see color attribute is only showing the name of the colors but not the color in reality same goes for pattern attribute is not showing any image for paint and shirt variations with the help of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin you can change this to do so navigate to attributes from products you can see type is not selected for any of the attributes so we need to define the type of each attribute now for color attribute click on edit for color attribute select color type and click on update button now for pattern attribute click on edit for pattern attribute select image type and click on update button finally for made in attribute again click on edit for made in attribute select button type and click on update button i didn't select any type for size attribute it's because of a specific setting which i'll show you later on now go to the product front end you can see the changes in color and pattern attribute as no color and image are defined for color and pattern attribute so it's not showing any image and color so for these two attributes we need to set the color and image now navigate to attributes from products click on configure terms for color attribute now click on edit for red variation select the color as red and update it now click on edit for blue variation select the color as blue and update it so the colors of all the variations are set now go to the product front end you can see the variations of color attribute are successfully showing their color in the same process i will set the images for pattern variation first i will set the image for paint variation and update it finally i will set the image for shirt variation and again update it so the images for pattern attributes variations are defined again go to the product front end you can see the variations of pattern attribute are successfully showing the images so the variation selection drop downs are finally successfully converted into color button and image swatches now it's time to learn some unknown but useful settings of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin for that navigate to swatches here you can see the option shape style on the product front end you can notice these shapes are in square format from settings if you select rounded shape shape and click on save changes you'll notice in the product page shape styles are converted into round one from the squared one here is another setting if you uncheck convert default drop downs to button type you'll notice a change in size attribute in the product page as previously type was not defined for size attribute so for unchecking this option variations of size attributes are converted into drop down from button now here is another setting if you uncheck the option show selected attribute variation name beside the title and click on save changes it will give this type of result but previously attribute names were above the variations but now attribute names are beside the variation if you want to manually make any product out of stock then you need to select out of stock from stock status let's assume i want to make blue uk pant large and blue uk shirt medium out of stock to save the settings click on save changes to see the results of out of stock products in the product front end you need to go to the woocommerce settings click on products and then in inventory give a check mark on hide out of stock items from the catalog and click on save changes now go to the product front end to save the changes as previously i made these two items out of stock so in the product page out of stock items are showing in blur with cross mode you can also change the type of displaying out of stock items to do so navigate to swatches now select blur without cross and click on save changes to see the output so this will give you this type of result finally select height and click on save changes to see the changes again now again go to the product front end so for selecting hide option out of stock items have been disappeared from the product front end that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and stay connected if you have any query please write down in the comment section thank you